Welcome back to the Tired Cast. It's PGL Bucharest Major 2018 SEA Qualifiers. It's our last game for the day. Execration versus Boom ID. Tied up 1-1. And let's get straight into the draft. I'm Base Kip. Joining me once again is Lumi. Uh, and let's get into it. I ain't tired. Execrations Are you not? Turn to I'm tired. <laughs> no, I'm actually really tired. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, uh, yes, Dota. It's, I've been actually uh, waking up at 6 a.m. every day. Oh, really? My, my schedule has been up. quite so good. But... No, no, no I, I just came back from Los Angeles not too long, so I've been like adjusting. Ah, okay. Right, right. Uh, I, I think I've been waking up at like 5 and 6, been pushing it back. I can tell you tomorrow I'll be not waking up 6 a.m. Yeah, I yeah, I could guess. <laughs> I, I hope I, I get to sleep then. But uh, let's get a good last game here. I, I feel like both teams just take turns rolling on each other, which as fun as that is to watch, it, it the game gets unexciting after a certain point. I want to I wanna see like a, a well-played game for both sides. Yeah, yeah, have a bit of a close early game, get through the mid-game, maybe we're trading blows, bit of a comeback. That uh, would, be, would be good. Would not be opposed to it's that. Phase one Razor Band, dude. Doing yeah, it. it's it's still happening. And Doom again, but this time Execration. Take, All right. Take the Doom. Okay. So we'll see. I mean boom ID, they've been picking it. They seem to have a fairly decent handle. You probably do not like this first overall pick doom right because like you've Five been saying in some of the previous drafts pick. his impact is very much dependent on uh whether or not he can actually contest the lane and survive and like yes. pressure the carry and also you could pick certain cores that just don't give a damn about being doomed or not so yeah for example death prophet is the hero that comes to mind Ten uh, seconds you know remaining. you get that exorcism going I guess it's not as true compared to the old Death Five Prophet, where you literally just care about exorcism. Now, I guess Soul Siphon and and even like casting face with the Yule Scepter, you, you do to a certain part care about that. So maybe that's becoming less true, but there's still a lot of other really good heroes that don't particularly care about being doomed in a fight. Yeah, and I mean, there's still a, a bunch of heroes that could make the lane completely unplayable for. Oh. Doom as well. This is tough. This is a bunch of lockdown. Uh, yeah, that's it's a really strong duel of supports as well. Yeah, and the ET right. kind of filling that like can play as a five from the melee Ten support position. Remaining. So Shaman can be a bit greedier, which is always back. nice. Nice. The Night Stalker makes it through. This is a hero that we've been seeing banned a lot today. I think we've actually had what four for four bans. This is the only pick that's uh it's managed to sneak through. So pretty nice to have. The interrupt's gonna be very important against the Shadow Shaman and the ET. Ten seconds preventing the, the chain stun. Alright, let's get a remaining. good uh dire looking draft from execration. Oh, Alright, yeah. so far Doom and Nice Docker is uh, these like demonic dealer and Shadow Demon and it has to be a good draft here, right? Like, I don't think Shadow Demon fits this draft, so... No. We're gonna need another... Like, this Witch Doctor? Like, Witch Doctor fits this draft, right? Yeah. Well, it depends on how clowny his cosmetics are. If you've got the, like... <laughs> if you've got the, like, snake and the top hat, and... Then, then, then maybe not. <laughs> but... I see, I see where you're going with this. Um... Oh, what else is yeah. good? What else is good here? I, I immediately thought of like Secretion Ursa just to make the to lane bad. for Doom completely unplayable. Dire but team I don't even know if that if, if that really warrants picking. Also, it can be a little bit tough to play against the Night Stalker. Play Ursa against the Silence. What? Not fun. What makes the the lane unplayable? Oh, it's just the Shadow Shaman, right? You just get slain. But I feel like you. It doesn't matter what uh, carry it is at this point. You probably get slain by the remaining. Shadow Pretty Shaman much, ET yeah. rotations. Five seconds I think remaining. you're gonna get banned. Bit of context from this series uh, with that first game, Carl on Tinker just putting in a pretty star performance. I mean, the, the whole team played well, and I think uh, Raging Potato, especially on his bounty hunter, put in a lot of work. Which is why it's getting banned here by Boom. If the draft uh, allows it, I think a, a very strong carry against Doom in this particular scenario uh, could be Ursa. 
like insanely strong comboed up with shaman in the lane just yeah. good at against doom on his own and he is one of those cores that like i mentioned don't care about getting doomed that much turn to ban. and take out the life sealer though gotta break the theme but uh i'm sure there's more than one carry that's uh that's spooky that could fit the theme yeah, yeah. That's spooky. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what the, what the descriptor. <laughs> um, I guess there's like Dusa and stuff. Could Demonic be. slash satanic. Yeah. Would Chaos Knight fit the theme? A little bit, yeah. Uh, yeah, I think so. I think so. When's the... Uh, <laughs> gotta, gotta have a Radiant Dire tournament. Next. That'll be the, the next gimmick. Oh no, they're I'll taking like, it. A lot like Dota in 2006. Yeah. <laughs> when it was actually Radiant and yeah, Earth, we... or Sentinel and Scourge, dude. Yeah. The L school names. The the taverns. Yeah. Gotta... Apparently Sentinel is like 95% or maybe. was it like 90%, 80%, like some ridiculous win rate because Five seconds back then maybe. there's like this four heroes combination that you never beat and then the fifth hero just swap out, whatever. <laughs> All right, the theme is broken. Shakira is definitely not a, not a dire hero. Mm. That's all right. Um... But uh, I think a very good answer to Chaos Knight. Well, maybe not, because the problem against Chaos Knight is seconds, that right? it's not AOE, but you need burst AOE to kill the illusions. I don't think Shakira is burst AOE. Remaining. With yeah. that said, though, the the minus attack speed can help. Although, I mean, he realities in with his. Phantasms, and you might have liquid fire on that, but you're still dying. Yeah, what you really need is like a a semi instant AOE stun, I think, and then and then you can have like slower AOE to clear, right? Sure. Like if you have a if you have a ravage, and then you can follow it up with some nukes. That's a nice way of dealing with. Uh, we saw we saw this matchup, I think, in the first series today, right? Chaos Knight versus Doom. Yeah. yeah, I think in actually in the in the very first game, and what I recall from that game is that Chaos Knight doesn't get pressure in the lane. In fact, he has kill potential on the Doom. Ten seconds. Um, and then once he got to a certain point, Chaos Five Knight just ran over remaining. everybody. Yeah, that was. I think the, it was actually Envy. Yeah, that Envy was eighteen minutes of Envy farming. That was the second game because the first game he played Monkey King, wasn't it? Sure. Yeah. yeah. But uh, the boom picking up. This is a little bit different from what they did in the previous game, right? Previous game was very much. I felt like to a certain extent they had the inevitability, in terms of the draft, and this time around it's very kind of run at you. I I do worry about. Well, I guess I would worry about their lineup kind of falling off. I feel like that that seems. I see that happening a lot with Death Prophet, where. She seems to take all the outer towers, then you just stall out on that final push, and you can't quite close out the game. Um, oh, the ultimate counter. But they've got the Shadow Shaman, so that, that'll yeah. help. They've got the Serpent Wards to punch through some of these more difficult obstacles. But yeah, the, the Dusa, not fun for CK to play against. It's just like a completely unplayable remaining. matchup for the most part. Um, and the reason being is you, you buy the Aghanim Scepter, which one-shots illusions. Yeah, and I mean, even just the stone gaze to begin with is uh, super annoying. Yeah. You, you can kind of play around the stone gaze. You can't really play around the eggs, turn to ban. unfortunately. All right, they ban out the Venge to break up the, the dream team. Venge, Medusa, we see you know, Mineski a couple months back running that lineup nonstop. I'm so down by the that Ursa suggestion Ten that I made. Remaining. Yeah, I think Ursa's a, a reasonable pick. What if you just Five what if you drow Dusa? How about that? Dusa mid. Chester's I'm not sure point. if you want drow versus CK. Mm. It just feels a bit scary. The gust, it's so value though. <laughs> That's true. But uh, get that gust upgrade, dude. Let's go. Yeah, yeah. The, the 300 bonus, or is it is it more? Did they buff it like 350? I think it's like bonus push. It's back. actually a lot. Yeah, it's I weird. mean the funny thing is, CK runs at you, you Gus, and then he just realities back in. It's like okay, but he's silenced, dude. He's silenced. That's the... Oh, true, true, true. 
That's what actually Gus does. It doesn't just knock yeah, it does, back. Yeah, it's not it just a knockback Luffy. <laughs> how how it good is, it is a... getting late. Yeah, that's fine. How okay? So imagine if you gave Gust to a hero, but it didn't silence. How far would the knockback range have to be for it to be like a viable spell? Are we talking actually, like one k range? Or... Here's the thing. Here's the thing. Let's say let's say you give Gust to Bloodseeker, right? Yeah. And that's oh, all it did. The knockback. <laughs> Oh, would that God. be a good spell? Oh, it would be a very good spell. You, you're right. Or even if you gave it to a hero with like a positioning ability, Five so you just push remain. people into your team. It'd be sure. Great. It'd be pretty good. So uh, there you go. All right, execration. Pretty heavy decision to make here. I think there is. There are people who would advocate for like a Sven pick in this situation, but I think that would be. A grave mistake. It's Sven for Cleave or what? It, it's like good against CK and Legion Death Prophet. Commander. The, okay, the well, War Cry is, is good, good for the armor and uh, yeah, the Legion Commander is good as well. So also, who's who's safe lane? Do? Um. Yeah, maybe Legion. Is, is there? It's like I don't know if there's any point in putting the Legion safe lane. Ten seconds remaining. I, I think I think Legion survives against CK much better. Five seconds remaining. Uh, okay, yeah. she has armor. I, I would be inclined to agree, yes. But is it is it somehow worth it to have a crazy farmed Legion commander this game? Maybe. No, it's it's not it's not a crazy farmed Legion commander. It's just a fast blink dagger, a guaranteed blink dagger. That's the way I see it. Yeah, yeah. I think that's I think that's reasonable. I like this brewmaster pick. Quite a bit, though. I mean, a bit scary later on if the deuce has a ton of damage, but I feel like if it's later on and the deuce has a ton of damage, you probably lost the game anyway. Uh, but being able to just hoist the, the deuce up into the air is going to be helpful. Hoist. Dealing with these mid-game fights. Hoist is a great word, dude. It's it's an okay word, but the way that you're saying it makes it a great word. Nice, nice. That's 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 the goal, right? That's what the, that's what the commentator's here remaining. for. But, uh, so, why is, is CK facing sideways on your screen, by the way? Remaining. He is. He's What's... facing t to the left. Yeah. He wants to shield us the, the shield. So. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so I, I do want to talk about the Brewmaster versus the Dusa matchup, because I'm glad you kind of brought it up. And in, in the late game, it's pretty bad when he kind of just one-shots all your panda. In the mid game, you just throw him up and fight around her, right? Yeah. I guess that's a goal. Like, you bait out Stone Gaze, you throw it up, you wait it out, and then re-engage. Re and then suddenly Medusa is very killable. Yeah, I think that's definitely the definitely the way forward. Uh, the Haze is also really annoying for Medusa to deal with early on. Late game, she has not that much trouble, you know, just building an MKB or something to, to deal with it. But the evasion... They have press the attack. Can be, yeah, that's true. But the evasion can be quite annoying in the, the early stages. Alright, so. Prepare we got Shadow Shaman plus CK plus ET. Safe lane, Death Prophet mid, Panda off lane, nothing too shocking there. Execration. It does look like Medusa mid. Legion safe. Talking about that. So I guess they, they are prioritizing the fast blink. Um, mm -hmm. Though I don't know, is is the Legion destined to do all that well against the Brewmaster? Like, even if that's just a straight up one v one, is that is that any good? Um, I don't think so, right? Brewmaster. I don't just... think so. It's pretty ass. I mean, they nerfed Haze a little bit, but still, gonna be very annoying to deal with. And Panda. Just I guess Legion could just grab a fast soul ring and just start spamming away. Maybe. What if you just? Can you just get moment of courage and just hit him like two two points moment of courage early? And just like stand in the middle him, of the crew wave, smack him around, pretend yeah. you're axe. But can you miss with moment of courage? I think you can, right? I, yeah, I'm pretty sure you can. Yeah, so I don't know. You you try to smack and then you just yeah, miss. He's, he's just sad. No smack. The battle begins. Oh. They are chasing after Nando. Yeah, push him away so here. So what's with the the deal, you know, the mid players gets double bounty rune these days? Um 
I don't know. The, the mid just seems to get it better and better all the time. I guess it's because they changed the like the TP. So that they, when they made it so that the mid could no longer TP and block their own wave, then the meta shifted they get to, somebody else to making the support do it. And then while you wait, <laughs> you may as well just pick up the double bounty. I don't know. The, the meta on mid has also evolved into the situation where people are buying like double wraith or double null. And if you get your double wraith or your double null a little bit faster than the other guy, then you can bully them way more and like force. I mean, it's out. the. It's like the uh, escalation effect, right? Yeah, yeah. If the... nobody buys double wraith, then you don't need to buy double wraith. But then as soon as they start doing it, then you have to. Yeah, there's a real mid lane arms race, mm. especially with how important a lot of the mid lane, like the mid lane hero has become, right? In terms of getting them off to a good start and then farming a whole bunch, because you're not just going to be able to get levels and go and gank the. Oh, trouble for Jakiro. He's getting stunned up by the CK. Lumic, however, he has dual breath and it's a damn good ability. Can they find him though? It looks like they should be able to, and Ether Shock will probably be the end of him. Yep, and there you go, Shadow Shaman once again. Finding some impact early on here. This team just couldn't really do anything to help him out, unfortunately. So I'm not sure if I like the way that uh, CK has, you know, got the the build up. Oh my god, that's a combo. They're trying to go for a kill on Yaj, but he's fine. You know, the long shackle, they're going to come in for the smacks, and they are going to get the kill. Yeah, big you know, I was going to. ET? Is he going to get right click down? He's no, he's fine. He's fine. I was gonna say that, look, you know, they spend the mango, they got the kill, and then they shouldn't have enough mana to do other stuff, but then they proved me right wrong, like, right immediately wrong, so. <laughs> They're out of resources. Shows, shows you how much we know. Well, they have just a good sense well, of I mean, what they can do. The, the way that Envy played the lane was he only got Reality Rift and uh, the passive, right? And it was actually yeah. doing a surprising, he just kind of hit a Doom whenever Doom came into the lane. Um, I thought that was... It worked surprisingly well in that situation. And they're gonna tank some unnecessary tower shots. He was doing pretty well at bottom up until this moment, and then... And uh, now gets set back a bit. And meanwhile, Panda still has a salve, so... Uh, this is probably where Panda starts to pull ahead a little bit. And what's he gonna do? Is he gonna, like, stack a camp and head back to the... To the well. I don't think he can stick around in this lane right now. I think he's fine. Soul Ring's coming, right? Get the, get the, I guess he's got the wand region. No, he doesn't have Soul Ring. No, he's going, he's for, going for face boots. boots. Yeah. Get those uh, right, Moment well. of Courage procs going, buddy. Yeah. Oh, Proc, no. please. No procs at all? No crits, please. Oh, oh. <laughs> Sink. Yeah, that, that smack to the back of the head is going to send him... Is he still staying? Yeah, I think he want, he's trying to ferry some... Like, he, he's he got one salve on the courier, but that's only just gonna... That's like oh, the, God. Oh, credit him. Uh, uh, mid, okay right damage now. being done. Death Prophet just chasing down Carl on this Medusa. Medusa is getting owned! 7 and 4 yeah, for 19 and 11. Oh, my lord. This is not looking pretty uh, for Medusa. Well, here's the thing. Oh, up top, Doesn't have Yash double rape. Dead. Oh, Shadow Shaman. Duke for dear life. Lumix gonna find you. Alt's gonna take his one touch. He's still in the fog. Okay, he's got him this oh. time. <laughs> so, officially, Execration losing all three lanes? Yes. Yes. I think, uh, personally, from what I remember, which is always oh. correct. Jameisel. Flee. Is he dead? No. Shackle coming in. Into the stomp. Doom. Saved from the tower temporarily as a result. TK oh, the briefcase, man. It. Punch him. He's still punching. Oh, oh no. He's so punch. he's too powerful. So, uh, I, I think if you win all three lanes, you have like a 90% chance of winning the game. Just, just based on what I remember. Hmm. Oh, that seems accurate, right? That that sounds about right. I was gonna try and build up some more briefcase damage here. Oh, dual breath is helping. Ready potato out of there for a second. Shadow Shaman surviving. Ready potato still getting punched, but it's gonna be Lumic with the double kill. Shrine's popped back up as well. well Shrine's popped up for the first time this game. 
So maybe not all is lost just yet for uh, XCTN. I don't know. In your dream is about to defecate no, on Carl when it comes to CS, doubling him up. That's true. One more CS. Rough. Oh, alright. <laughs> three more now. <laughs> yeah, it gets harder and harder. You, yeah, your gap is uh, getting getting a little bit more difficult. All right, we got the. Well, if he's dead, he can't see us. That'll that'll help. Yeah, right, let's get go. him. Yeah, there's there's no way. He's just, he throws out the mystic snakes. Please just give me some mana, mana shield protect me. No, not gonna happen. I, pop the I really like the uh, yeah. I really like the uses of the ultimate there. It makes a kill pretty much guaranteed, Radiance and then you use that all to do some yeah, decent damage. Yeah, definitely worth. It. And you're gonna you're gonna be able to heal back up off the ultimate damage anyway, so not a big deal. He does have a Yule's queued up at the moment. No big surprises there. Uh, his team unfortunately does not utilize a veil all that well. Oh, they found the CK over in the trees. Looking. looking Crits you dead. Let's get a stun out, but he's just getting chased down, and it seems to be the plan. Just really uh, pressure the CK. I don't know if I like this plan that much, though, because I feel like they already had answers to the CK. Nando's dead mid lane. He's getting auto attacked to death, and he's shackled to the tree line. But surely they've got the Legion and the Medusa, right? You've got CK counters in spades. It feels like if you're going to be ganking anyone, put this Death Prophet in the ground, if if yep. possible. I also think, again, I disagree with the Doom being up top. Doom is just getting... Uh, not nothing, but like he's having a relatively tough time. Oh, that's a big stack here. Dusa is slowly using his split shot. And now he's gonna be dead. He doesn't even have his ultimate, dude. He's, he's, he's mega dead. Out of mana, out of chances. Carl had such a spectacular Tinker game in game one, but the rest of the series has... Really kind of being a shambles. Oh, really. if they sealed the stack though. The stack doing a very good job defending himself. <laughs> it's, it's gone for sure. Oh, just kidding. <laughs> Brewmaster claps right through it. Who are they going to give most of these last hits to? Brewmaster going to grab the majority. Up top, the Jakiro is kind of doing some work with the Liquid Fire. They are managing to bring okay. down a tier 1 tower. So it's not completely without trades, but still not looking Don't great. stop. Go, go, Lord of Ring style, twin towers, two towers. Take it out. Radiance bottom tower is under this attack. Legion's gonna take a bit to. So much for that fast blink. That's all I'm gonna say. These, these farming decently, but not not amazingly. Brewmaster has one uh, K towards his blink. Radiant Meanwhile, Legion just finishing up the phase boots now, it looks like. In your dream, gonna come around the corner with an arcane rune. He wants this kill, pops the phase boots as he gets oh. into range. Just wants that spirit siphon, does not get it. Oh, up top, big dive. They pop the Doom on the Brewmaster, and Doom managed to burn through him. Elder Titan now in some trouble. They have another void, there you go, into the Infernal Blade, chasing him down. He does have one charge, they're gonna let him go. I mean, well, mid in your dream really wants this tier one tower, or so it would seem. But there is a glyph since they took the tier one at bottom. Stomp does catch Lumic, but he doesn't care. And uh, Yaj gonna just give Shadow Shaman a little love tap and send him packing. Radiance bottom tower. Okay, so that exorcism was not as uh, fruitful as I think in your dream would have hoped and now he is trying to just make some spirit siphon ganks happen Lumic in a team. Hey, he, had, he had arcane rune so it's like oh yeah it was, it was it was worth but he just wanted that tier one right Dyer's couldn't, couldn't middle get it. Tower is under attack. he's farmed but he needs his team to catch for if he's gonna be able to do anything I guess the brewmaster blink is really the big ingredient that they're waiting for at the moment Did he go for a bottle? He did. All right, so it's pretty. This is pretty standard stuff. I see this a lot on Brewmaster. A little bit of extra mana goes a long way in terms of being able to spam clap and keep Radiant's up your farm. Middle tower is under attack. Soul ring, next level item. Soul, soul ring always the answer. What is Nando doing? He literally can't kill anybody by himself. 
No, I mean, he's got level one moment of courage. He can just uh, get nothing but perfect procs. And then maybe the Shadow Shaman dies or something. Oh. And is E.T. looking for something up on the high ground? It is the Shadow Shaman. Does have the Mass Serpent Wings ready to go. They've already taken out the Tier 1. He would like the Tier 2 if they can get it. Raging Potato just chilling up here waiting for night time. So a minute and a half to go on that. Wow. Are you seeing this? They just pop Exorcism and Panda ult for a Tier 2. And they pop Serpent Ward. I have not seen this level of commitment. Yeah, they're just, they're just going for it. Dude. I don't know about oh, this. Geez. There's Doom available I mean, now. They got the tower. They got the tower. So. Did not get the last hit, but still. Oh, and bottom. Oh, remember when I said he can't kill anybody? Got him. Did he, like, he, so he used the he... Phantasm, and then did you see get a huge nuke? Because of the... I guess. The overwhelming odds must and have been so much work in. there. He's got to oh, he's got to yield. Nando, oh, you're trying to TP no. out in front of him, dude. He's got face. Oh. So Going to see the creeps. They both have All face. the jukes. He's out of there. All right, that's pretty nice. Oh, he didn't get the he didn't get the win actually. Looks like he dueled him, but didn't didn't actually kill him in the duration. But execration making some pretty clutch moves and trying for the comeback here. They've now got night time. They want this kill onto the Death Prophet, but there is the ET Stomp there to counter-initiate. He's going to end up using himself just to buy some space here. The Doom also getting thrown out. Now the CK arrives in the scene. Doom going to get right-click down, it looks like. Yaj juking for dear life, and the phase boots actually might end up saving him. He's hiding in get the him. trees. Get the Reality Rift, but oh. he actually ends up getting brought out. Elder Titan not going to be finished off. He will not get any bonus damage, but... Oh, man. They lose nobody on the boom side. Uh, Night Stalker is hoping to intercept somebody on their way over to the shrine. Can he actually find the courier, maybe, instead? No, is he just going to come up completely empty-handed? Looks like just completely empty-handed is the answer. Uh, well, Deuce has been quietly farming in the meantime, taking her rightful spot as the number one net worth over on the Radiant side, which is good news for sure. Boom, where are you going? So... Do you think he goes Axe second item? Or do you think he does goes Axe at all? Um... I don't think you go Axe second here. Oh, silence. Uh, silence, Raging Potato just buying some space. Or some rotations. Oh, you're getting looking for him. Alright, there's the Yules. We'll just hold him down. But there is a shrine just around the corner. Silence coming in. Nando looking for something. That's probably oh, not what that. a clap. Oh, she's, not a, she's not that tanky, but she is fast at the very least to escape. They see the deuce up top. They want this kill shaman. Shackle. <laughs> Reconsiders midway through as the fight is actually being brought to them over by their shrine, but Neo Dream is surviving. The shrine's gonna keep him up. Uh, Raging Potato did manage to cancel that TP. I don't know if they would have killed the Medusa anyway. If the Death Prophet had TP'd over there, but do end up losing the Night Stalker. So 6 to 11. Pretty tight game overall. Maybe not exactly what you were expecting, Lumi, when you asked for a close game three, but. Mm, I, I'm liking kind of enjoying out. this game. I, I wonder how aggressive Boom is going to be using their ultimates. Like, last time they popped three just for a tower. That may be a little overkill, but. Hey, it got the job done. Yeah. I, I guess part of it is that they wanted to just. I like. I was thinking about it. I don't mind them using the split like that because he didn't have his blink yet and he was still a little ways away from getting it. So if the split secures that tier two, you're actually just kind of using the cooldown to, you know, get that blink a little bit faster and make sure that your next split is going to be even more effective. They're taking this fight. They've got the Mass Serpent Woods down, but the Brewmaster is nowhere to be seen. The illusions have already been cleaned up. Blink in from Nanda. They've also got Medusa now running forward. Plenty of damage. Is that a winner for the Legion? Looks like it was not, but they still get the kill onto the Chaos Knight, and they successfully defend their Tier 1, which is not a good look for Boom. They do finally now have the Brewmaster running over. The Doom's also been used. They got a little bit of Exorcism duration left running as Raging Potato comes running forward. Macropire getting laid out with the Ice Path, a complete whiff. Now the Brewmaster has to pretty much carry this team fight all by himself. He's forcing them back, but they can't really run through the Macropire. It's very dangerous for In Your Dream. He almost has the Exorcism Spirits returning. He'll be able to heal up off of that. 
Kakira's gonna get caught up by a shackle and brought down the Doom. Right, once again, sent up. Looks like Panda was actually the answer that they needed. Oh, Elder Titan's gonna get brought down. Nando comes in with one auto attack, but that might actually end up costing him his life. There is yet another Spirit Siphon available. Scratch that, it's actually the Shackle Nando! Oh, manages to get oh, off the nuke and he's actually out of there, he might get the blink off! Oh my god, he is he okay, Raging Potato making some sick plays, has another nuke. There is a Yule available. Back up. He has dual. Can they get this? Oh, Ice Path not quite gonna connect. They find the Brewmaster though. Boom, getting a little bit big for their britches and this time around Nando will get the win. That was his first dual victory of the game, in fact. But the tier 1 tower still stands, and Execration with that looks like they have managed to swing the, the golden experience well, the golden experience lead back in their favor, all while Medusa is farming. I'm already really worried for Boom. Like, really? Yeah. I... If they're losing fights in this situation, I, I worry about what they can do when Medusa has her back to the high ground. And the team is like always in a good position. See, I think because mid is open, if they group up a swipe right now and go down mid, can't do you mean right now they can defend? Um well, right now, yes, because stuff's on cooldown, but uh, I know what you mean. Um Yeah, I think they can. I think they can they can like macropire one wave, they can spam overwhelming odds. They got Mystic Snake as well. I think they can actually hold up. That's dark looking pretty dead here. I guess it is daytime, makes it a little bit more difficult. And that's a mega kill streak for In Your Dream. Two getting up top. CK, not gonna be brought down. The dual plus Macrofire. Not enough to kill him. Very, very low, however. Silence TP had attempted. Do they have enough damage oh. to kill Nando? Oh, just that crit helping out a lot. I don't know if that was the guaranteed crit, but still. Very nice. It looks like they should be able to clean out. Maybe tier one and tier two up top, right? They got the cooldowns for it. Dyer's middle tower Shaman is doomed. Attack. Why is Shaman doomed? I guess he's dead. Alright, so they're dead with no real commitment. What can they get oh. here? The silence onto the Medusa. She's losing mana pretty quickly. Does have one charges, but this is not a good look. Can they finish this kill? Another boulder coming in. Doom arriving on the scene now. What can they find? Lumic turning around, doing some damage to this Earth Panda. Committing that. They did not use the exorcism. Not enough mana on in your dream. And Gas Knight just around the corner. He's got his armlet. Who would they manage to find here? Brewmaster gonna get caught maybe one second on the blink. And he's dead. Uh, Boom seems to be kind of tripping over themselves to end this game, right? I feel like they just need to maybe go for a smoke gank and then group up and finish the game. Or not finish, but at least get themselves like get, a get lane a of lane, racks, right? Right, yeah. yeah. Just a lane secures the shrines, the shrines secure the Roche, the Aegis maybe nice. secures the second lane. It's pretty pretty standard Dota stuff, but I think that's really the line that they need to be on right now. Legion Commander. Alright, nuke, blink, duel. Where's the damage? Are those moment of courage procs gonna be enough? It's close, the mischance. I think In Your Dream actually only evaded like one hit there in the, the whole thing. And they're just gonna go for the TP out. Wasted some spirit siphon charges. Not too bad, I guess. Meanwhile, Raging Potato just split pushing on his Night Stalker. Mass Serpent Ward's back off cooldown, but mm, haven't managed to create an opportunity to use them, unfortunately. Panda split, still 40 seconds to go. Blade Mail now on the Legion. Alright, well, those. Previously difficult kills gonna be much easier now and Nando doing well to keep up in farm. Pike on the Dusa, gonna help out getting out of that stomp. Ooh, smoke into Roche. They drop the Serpent Ward yeah. and the Pat. They're popping are... everything. Dude, is that worth it? Is the who's the Aegis even good on? CK, I guess. Give it to DP. 
Okay. I don't know about this. Oh, all the dope gets the kill, does not get the victory damage. They got everybody waiting for him now. Yeah, straight back into the reality rift and he is gone. Well, here's the thing you got the Aegis, but they you got can't no cooldown. Yeah, yeah, they got a no cooldown. And these are some long ass ults. Two minutes. Yep. At 145 on the Death Prophet. Lumic just doing pretty standard Jakiro stuff, just threatening lanes non-stop. Uh, is picking up a Solar Crest, it looks like, to help out with the duels, or maybe help out against the, the Exorcism and the CK. Oh, I mean, up top, Master, zoomed up, Spirit Vessel, right click, dead. Raging Potato, chilling there for a second, I don't know why he was standing still. But going to be brought down will he be so punished? fast he's just he's so attack. fast yeah spirit vessel going to smooth speed pretty sweet all right what about now let me you feeling worried about the i think it's, it's only a 2k difference but i'm just looking at this medusa and let's see what they do with the ages uh if they could yeah. you know win a fight take down mid then i, I say they're so in it Alright, here, here we, we go. go. Where the man's to catch, it's just gonna be Lumic for the time being, silencing him up. He'll be brought down quickly, CK sliding on in there with his blink dagger. Meanwhile, Nando and Carl just gonna go and... Eh, go and hit this bottom tier 1 tower a little bit. Oh, they're coming mid, this is it. Let's go. JK, they don't have mana on, on Death Prophet. Still going anyway. Clarity him, dude. Clarity him. Yeah, there you go. There you go. That. They got Master Urban Ward. That's level 2 Master Urban Ward. Alright, alright, alright. I'm down. I can see it. Raging Potato with the semi flank. Darkness scaring them off. Drop that ward. And is it. Panda needs to blink in and start distracting. Yeah, there you go. Oh! But he's silenced! No! And now he's dueled! And now he's oh, dead! Oh no, it's a disaster. Push is over, dude. Get the Shackle over the Night Stalker, they're gonna, they're gonna, gonna commit this. the Exorcism, they really wanna fight this! Night Stalker dead! Huge nuke from the Legion! Doing so much damage, in your dream even dropping pretty low, does manage to Spirit Siphon some up off of Lumic. Ooh, but they can't go high ground. Not quite finishing him. Yeah, I, they can't. I mean, that's... They gotta wait that for was the next Brewmaster wave. getting greedy. Brewmaster, if he didn't go for the clap, if he just blink ulted, that's... That's where he's safe. Yeah, that's really bad. Exorcism used for nothing. CK ultimate used for very little. They got they got some damage on the tier three. I'll give them that, but they're only gonna they're only gonna be given the opportunity to botch at, top. You know, so many fights. Yeah. Aegis triggered. Okay, so now I'm officially worried. They did a death push down mid. It didn't work. The Aegis is gone, so they don't actually have any. Like kind of advantages, right? Yeah. Going for them? Yeah, they're down on gold. The Medusa is number one net worth. They don't have the edges. They're still tier twos in the other lanes. Full health tier twos. So, even if they do get one lane of racks at this point, like you says, she's not quite at the point where she's going to shrug off one lane of racks, right? But they, she is a very useful hero in terms of mitigating uh, against a Rax disadvantage. So. Yeah, at this point, I think the deuce is kind of out of control. She's gonna get a Lincolns, make it more difficult for her to get just CC. That's the only thing that they can really do at this point, right? CC the deuce and leave her for last. At last. Dyer's top tower is under attack. Dyer's structures are fortified. Nando just getting this tier two up top. Looks like he's gonna get it pretty much for free. That makes the Medusa Dyer's suspicious that something is, is going attack. on. So she's just running around scouting an invis at the Dyer's moment, I like it. Dire scan is going to reveal that there are more heroes up here, but Nando's already taken out the, the tower. And now... So now, if you're Execration, you just leave the Jakiro here, right? And then you push the other lanes. Jakiro by himself could pressure attack. top. Dyer's Instead, they're going to put LC. LC's attack. punching the tier 3. Somebody's got to react to this. Master comes in, but immediately after that, Execration just back out on the lanes, playing the lane control game. Serpent Wards looks like they should be able to bring down the tier 2 at bottom. So that's nice. I'm gonna open up the map a little bit more. Dusa is a farming. 
Consecration is continuing to play as a 4-1 split. Nando hoping for some more pickoffs around the very nice vision that they have. Uh, so I think once once Carl finishes Butterfly, that's where the game ends, I think? Yeah, I don't know how they kill him at that point. Because he'll get, yeah. he's about to get level 20, so mana talent coming out. Butterfly means the CK won't really be able to burst him. Because they'll probably Butterfly and then Solar on the Dusa. Just buff the Dusa while she chips buildings, right? Even throw press the attack at her if you, if you need. And you've also got the Doom to carry auras. It's a, it's a lineup that actually works beautifully for the Medusa strat. Yeah, Alpha Wolf is the way to go. Yep. I mean, that's really the only aura that, that's important. Unless you could devour ancients, then, then getting some ancients might, might change this deal. Mm. I mean, you can. Get, to, get a little 20. Uh, do so. What else? What other help can they give her this game? Doesn't really need that much more, to be honest. I think once she has like butterfly, maybe you go Scotty or you go the eggs that we were talking about earlier during the draft. Both are viable options. And it looks like boom. They really just want to find something if they can. Nando looking for a solo pick here. Might pay for it with his life. No, has has scouted some of these other boom heroes, so he's just gonna continue to cut and uh, nuke waves. And they'll just keep oh, on actually, building up this net worth lead. You know, there's a hell mary that boom ID go for triple, what? triple Roche. You get refresher shard. Oh yeah, with Egg shaman. shaman. That's that's always a comeback. Yeah, but I don't know. That's a that's a really long shot. Ooh, Nando comes in in this. And he blinks away immediately, but they found him. Yep, have managed to catch him. Can he get to the shrine? It's not going to help. That's opening. an opening. Go bottom. Ride that wave. All right. They but top, to... who's going to defend top? They got to go park their Medusa. Somebody park this Medusa on the front front doorstep here. Yeah. There Chaos go. Knight coming in. Blink reality riff. Yeah, Ooh, I do manage to get a little is... bit of lockdown, and that is going to be the Night Stalker also cleaned up. That is going to be the end of the push at bottom, however. Yeah. Do you think you defend that? I, I, I guess. I think you do. Uh, if you lose a Rex, trading for it, you automatically lose. Because I think, like you said, you take a defended Rex, but not. Oh, the ice path finds him in the trees. Elder Titan brought down. That was like a. That was a 0 0.1 for sure. Well, oh, they don't care about Elder Titan not being alive. They they running down mid. No. <laughs> No uh, Phantasm, but they have their big pushing ultimates. Here we go. Where are they going? Are they going bot? Are they trying to oh, intercept? Oh, they're going to cut him off? Oh, they're on an intercept path. They want Lumic. Can they find the Deuce? So she's silenced at the moment. She does manage to get her ultimate off. That's kind of good news. Are they going to send her up into the air? Nope. Just leaving her on the back lines for now. Carl trying to make his way into the base does manage to stone up a couple of these pandas. The Death Prophet just getting bursted. Already dead. Doom coming in. With his namesake ability, Legion Commander surviving courtesy of the Shadow Blade. One more auto attack is going to finish off the Shaman. It did cost them. They didn't even buy back for anybody on this. They wanted that yep. cutoff maneuver, but that might just be the end of it. The Doom now picking up a triple kill. Radiance Courier does end up dying in the midst of the fight. Looks like the uh, Serpent Word's probably cleaning it up, but. It just, they, they just can't quite make it up under the high ground. This, this to me feels like the story of so many Death Prophet games. Sure, Death Prophet didn't have the most amazing game. Here. Well, he dominated the, the laning phase, right? And then they got that kill and got good damage on the tier 1, and then you, you keep kind of going and everything's working out, and then you hit the high ground. And everybody I has mean, the armor I mean, here's the thing. Aura. How much of it is the, the hero slash lineup and how much is it is the way that they played? I feel like they yeah, have been extremely trigger happy with their ultimates and I don't know if you you could do that. Yeah. It, it's it's not a good look, that's for sure. And now the Medusa has well, almost has a butterfly, does already have her eight hundred mana talent, making her enormously tanky. Doom is just gonna be going for a Shiva's. Certainly nice against the CK, nice against the... Uh, well, I guess even kind of nice against the Death Prophet bonus armor. Not gonna be 
wasted at all. Raging Potato almost has a BKB of all things. So he'll just be able to run into the fights, soak chaos in the back lines. If he gets like a silence off on the CK, that's, that's tough. I guess CK does have a BKB. But. What do they do? The net worth lead continues to grow. 9k experience, almost 15k. You can just look at the graphs and see that uh, Boom have been running around as a death ball pretty much this entire time. And doing very little with that death ball. Yeah. Yeah, this is this is no TI4 death ball. It's, it's uh, going kind of slow. They're queuing up some. The way that they're queuing up items in the quick buys at the moment to me indicates that they think that they've they've also maybe messed up and this game's gonna go for at least another like 15, 20. And then Brew queuing up the BKB in your dream queuing up his uh what? Shiva's into into Lincoln's. Do so with the B fly, farming pretty fast. Not gonna be long before Scotty, and at that point, I don't know if they can come even close to killing her off. Yeah, I, I think it's not possible to kill her anymore. Lincoln's butterfly evasion armor, 800 mana talent. She's not even that far from 25, and then you get the yeah. get the modifier talent and just heal nonstop. Oof. All right, what do we got? Another Roshan. Aegis Cheese. No Aegis Cheese shard just yet. So that Hail Mary Shadow Shaman play is not on the cards. Raging Potato gets I guess you. The Macro Pyre. Oh. Gonna get the last oh. hit. They pop the Exorcism. What else is gonna end up happening? Nando skirting around the edge of this fight. Will get hexed up. Controlled from the edges. But the Night Stalker comes in. Did he manage to get the last hit? No. They got the Doom over onto the Panda. It looks like he's just about to be brought down. The Doom unable to be controlled with the VKB. And the Medusa just running in. Oh, every, Chaos Knight doing everything that he can not to look at the Snake Lady, but it doesn't matter. She's already cleaned up all of his illusions. Deuce is oh, so God. tanky. Taking some pretty big damage off of the Earth Splitter, however. Will be brought down. The Exorcism doing good work. Nando should just be able to run in here with the Blade Mail, but... Is he gonna go for it? Is he waiting for the Blink? But now the Exorcism's run out. So... But it's an 80 seconds so with Juice buys back, right? If you can force out a buyback, it's still not bad. Yeah. And I... I think that's enough, like, getting the buyback. Shaman has wards for in a minute, and th the fight could last long enough where they drop the ward. If Dusa needs to immediately buy back. Wait. Well, they, maybe not. They've got Glyph and they've got Jakira respawning in 10 seconds. He can yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe, maybe she, she won't buy back. Oh, and uh, Legion cutting. Oh, this is so annoying. This is so annoying right now. Oh, so they got Hex up onto the Doom. Do they have the vision? What's it they do? We'll be able to chew through him. All right, tier three dead. Legion dragging everything together and uh, looks like we'll be able to at least save the Deuce of Buyback and Chaos Knight doesn't want to be forced to pop this BKB. He's picked up an AC. Now pops the BKB turning back around, but nice BKB out of Raging Potato. Just the BKB for a BKB trade. They're going to heal up their Chaos Knight. Meanwhile, Nando is still just cutting waves on the <laughs> Loses track of them for a second, so we'll lose his nerve, but... This will do they've, nice. they've managed to get their Deucer to respawn at only the cost of the tier 3, which is pretty good. Nicely played. So, alright. Still maybe that, that oh. glimmer of hope. For boom, could be. Yeah, you know, they win one fight, and that might be just be two lanes of racks. Yeah, so. they like Phantasm is no joke when it comes to taking racks. That's true. So this, is, this game is. Yeah, this game is so close. It's just going for a heart. Had the MKB queued up earlier, but looks like decided to it. <laughs> Meanwhile, Night Stalker going for a always queued up a nullifier. Seems like a pretty big ticket item to be grabbing, but certainly could be very helpful against the the Yules, the BKB. Uh, it's the it's a wombo a combo. Yeah. The silence, the silence nullifier. Build your own doom. Build a second doom. Yep. Nope. Nando, scouting. 
He's so Must fast, but not fast enough. Well, drops the VKB. Value of already being used. Who they're going for? It is actually the Death Prophet trying to burst her down. Earth Splitter's going to do decent damage, but it's not going to be enough. Nando is getting right clicked by the Chaos Knight. Double kill for CK, but now he's out of his BKB, and they finally have the Medusa arriving on the scene. It's uh, two for two so far. They do manage to find the CK down in the river. Umicell, I don't know how he gets out of this one. Has to wait out the entire spirit vessel before he can blink. Find some kind of a juke is the only path, but looks like oh. Night Stalker. Not even going to be able to take to the skies. They just find him in there. Right click him down. Two cores and a support in exchange for just one and one. And I'll Shadow Shaman trying to do some sneaky split push, but. As Execration continue to be able to push the lanes further out and take fights over on the boom side of the map, that that dream that you were talking about of the CK like winning a fight with his illusions and then going on to push the base becomes just less and less likely, I suppose, as time goes on. Well, now it's uh, Dusa standing in front of her tier threes. This is a uh, now what? CK bar back. Who they find? They miss on the Brewmaster with the Infernal Blade, but they do get the silence. He doesn't have his Primal Split available. So what can they actually get BKB. done? BKB gonna get popped. CK just trying to man fight this one out. It is a long duration stun on some Dusa, but she's just so tanky. Brewmaster oh. jumping through. Who they managed to find? CK gets a couple of hits off, but Rage of Potatoes still on the run out of there. He will be brought down in the end, but not before they claim that melee barracks. And Shaman dropping Desperation Wards on mid would just immediately get farmed by the Medusa. I I just think that they're playing it too... Too antsy right now. Just take your time. Oh, we got the double. double. Oh, that f That was... That's some hacks. Know your weakness. Can we turn off, uh... Turn off map hacks, please. All right. Well, they got the lanes back at least, but once again, it's the kind of the cooldown problem. Not that long until the CK ultimate. Exorcism is up. Still working on a Lincoln's. Brewmaster still working on his BKB. Uh, what kind of radiant item progression have we got? Deuce is gonna buy a Scotty in two seconds. Doom still working in that Shiva's and uh, Legion Commander. Also, BKB completed. We saw a bit earlier. So, I think before the next time Brumidee does anything, in your dream needs to finish the Lincoln, sir. Because all of yeah. these fights, she's, got Doom. she's being targeted. Yeah. yeah. Or just any, any lockdown, right? Doom or, uh, or the duel. And just can't or do anything. fear, nullifier combo, which is not not done yet, but it's not that far though. Yeah, this is like one of the most farmed nice docker I've seen. That that doesn't start as a position three, right? This is a position yeah. four nice docker. I love how we just took all of the like carry talent anyway. Like <laughs> two hundred health, fifteen strength. He's just kind of saying, screw it. I'm gonna be I'm gonna be right clicking. He's probably on Shadow Shaman duty this game, honestly, right? Or it's just like, you just go find the Shaman in the back, don't let him get a long duration shackle out on anyone, and we'll uh, we'll kind of handle the rest. If you can see a good initiation on somebody else, go for it, sure, but uh, just isolating that back line is very, very powerful. Alright. Dusa 25 now, oh, takes man. a split shot modifier. And, and just look at Boom, they, they just like, they recognize they can't even go outside of base now. And uh, the third Roche that's spawning really soon, that is going to be the most important contention point. Yeah, that's... I mean, the Deducer with Aegis will be completely unstoppable, so... They definitely need to get it. You can steal it. It costs them so many resources to get... I think they, they almost have to steal it, because I think just taking it costs so many resources. And it just ends up buying more time for execration because it's like cycles that you're not of that your ultimates that you're not using on uh, fights and pushing. But all right, there you go. We're gonna do so with 48% evasion and a crap load of armor, just doing whatever she wants. Well, the armor doesn't matter at all, right? Because you have ET. 
So that's um, that helps a lot. Well, like the the solar cast buff like still matters and stuff, right? Sure, but I mean you you're cutting twenty eight armor with that's ET, true. So that's a but lot only, of armor. Only if the ET is on top of you. Yeah, he is gonna be on top. I hope. Yeah, he's like ideally, Deuce is shackled, and then ET runs in and starts punching. I mean, uh, ET runs in and starts attack. punching. All right, this game is winnable fire. yet, unless I, they I give away this. If they give away this, then it's not. Oh, all right, they're smoking out. What can they find? Do they even have any vision? They have like one Dyer's ward over. Shot. Yeah, they're smoking. They're smoking to their ward and just hoping that they find somebody along the way. I mean, it's not a completely unreasonable strategy, but it looks like these nukes that they've been throwing on the wave have been spotted. So. Execration kind of know what's going on. Oh, nice blink away from Doom. Uh, could he get stunned? Do they have? Wait, do they have a gem? They got the gem on the ET. All right. Like you said, it's about to be the battle for Roshan. Who they jumped on here? Elder Titan, managing to control the Legion Commander. There's the shackle. Looks like Nando should be brought down. Nope. He's actually just going to pop BKB and run for it on the other side of the fight. Deuce getting lifted up into the sky, but the panda doesn't have anyone to do damage after this control. And looks like they should just be able to kite out the exorcism. Like we were saying earlier, the panda just getting right clicked down. This is not a oh. ward trap. Can they bring down the Medusa? Oh. She's taking big damage. The exorcism oh. isolating her. She pops the ultimate, but in your dream, not going to watch. Just lets the ghosts no, do it. On the back lines, oh Chaos God. Knight man fighting up against the Legion. Okay, that will be a dual win. It's two for three. They don't have a creep wave. Push. Gotta push. Exorcism's over. They just got Vlad's in the brew, yeah, Ashley. Actually, let's go. Uh, yeah, yeah, just just lead that momentum in with the creeps. I mean, who's gonna stop you? The Legion's only really able to nuke one wave. Not in a position Roche to is coming back up, by the way. See? Oh, fairly long respawn, actually. Yeah. Radiant structures. Oh my god, this is the saddest push. They can't, they just have to give it up. But you can see Deuce's killable, and I think that's actually Weevil without the minus armor. Yeah. The exorcism actually does quite a lot. Oh, uh, crap ton. Yeah. All right, gem. this is what I meant when I said a close game. Yeah. I mean, it's not really close in the sense that I feel like Excavation should win it, but they could still lose it. That's the scary yeah. part. Well, that's the magic of the Shadow Shaman as well, right? It's just like, well, there's the Refresher Shard waiting in Roshan's inventory, and there's 2.2k gold on the Shadow Shaman's uh, Ags build up. so you do the math. Why is he buying wards? Elder Titan, you just buy the wards. Come on. Yeah. He's got Elder other wards to be. He's got other wards to buy. Elder Titan should should swap over buying wards so long ago, because I feel like Shaman's growth is way more important. All right, they scattered Roche. Got the Shivas up on the Doom. CK not quite to his heart just yet. Does have a cheese waiting around. Radiant Vision continues to be. Quite a bit better than Dire Vision, which is completely absent at the moment. Surprised they haven't been able to get some of these D-Wards with their gems, if they've had that No, perfect. the Roche! Is that Not it? like this. That's it. That's it. Age is decent. Can't die twice. So give the give the refresher shard. Refresher shard. Come on. Do. Of course. So you Shadow Blade in, you find somebody, you blink Doom, BKB. Fresh shard. Blink on the next guy. Fellow. Yeah. So the two target that you want to be getting is Death Prophet, who didn't go for the Lincolns by the way, and oh, then uh, you go for Brewmaster. Yeah, Brewmaster for sure. CK is not even terrible, but he's probably like given that he has Blink, he's just gonna pop Phantasm somewhere else and then Blink in and. Reality rift everything together, so very unlikely to doom him before he has his uh, illusions up. But, all right, 
They're spamming, they're defending, but is it gonna matter in the face of the Aegis Medusa? I mean, they're not pushing. They're just farming. Yep. Don't do me like this, Carl. <laughs> it's bedtime. Let's put this put this series to rest, execration. I guess they just want to get into a well ideally completely unthrowable position, but who, who knows? Boom, are they gonna go make a play? Are they trying to smoke here? Yep. Yeah. Alright, there you go. Smoke, but nobody's dealt with this midway. What's your plan there? Look at it, think about it for two seconds, and then just ignore it. Okay. Kinda suspicious that it's not getting stomped, but maybe Execration haven't put two and two together just yet. They, they know they gotta make some kind of a jump. They've managed to find the back lines to get the stun up over the Night Stalker. He has been hexed up, but there's that first Doom coming in. And now Doom gonna pop oh. the refresher, throws out the second one, placing down the Death Prophet. Meanwhile, in the back lines, they get the duel up, and they chew through the pandas. They're all gone. Death Prophet's dead for 100 seconds, even if she it's buys she back. She. They've muted up the Chaos Knight. He won't be able to use that cheese. And now the Earth Splitter coming through. It's gonna actually okay. kill off the Night Stalker. Nicely done leaving the spirit there for the reduced magic resistance, but Carl's already inside of your base. And he's not going to be going anywhere anytime fast. He's still got the Aegis. He's more than happy to try and fight this one out. Just looking for opponents. He pops back out of sheep form and just starts laying into In Your Dream. Look at these auto attacks. Two, three up next. And they're going to be looking for another pickoff. Five seconds to go on the Blink Duel. And this is lane number two of Rax coming up. CK dead for 60 seconds. And, well, there you go, Lumi. They got that Roshan for free, and that was, in fact, as you said, just the whole game. All right. Glad that we had to wait 20 minutes for that interesting turn of event. <laughs> Still has Aegis on Medusa, so she doesn't care. She's going to just move over like a snail and uh, punch down the buildings. Yep. TK up in 30. That's going to be way too long. Nando jumping in, blink dual, blade mail, dual win, 270 dual damage here for the Legion Commander. His execration looking to close out this game. Brewmaster caught inside of a silence, inside of the nullifier, inside of the macro pyre. Will he be able to get his split off at long last? Looks like he might be able to, but still has the deuce to fight through. The mega creeps are up. They've got the hex up over under the Jakira. He'll be brought down. Gem hits the deck, but they're just focusing on the buildings. The primal split gets popped. What can they do about the Medusa? They are shackling up the Legion Commander, bringing her down. Execration. Is this going to be enough? Carl's just focusing the building. He's dead once. There's going to be a lot waiting for him once he's Is time properly? Up. No, I don't think so. It is time properly. Yeah. Well, Oh my god. That tier 4, no, they've got the chains done, they got the chains done. Alright. But their base is a shambles, and they don't really push Mega Creeps that fast. Or at all. Yeah, pretty much. Alright. Well, they're not calling the GG, so let's let's keep casting. They're gonna push yeah, down yeah. mid. Alright, what's the... What do you think the respawn timer left on Deuce is by the time that they reach the, uh... <laughs> reach the racks? Also, one uh, lane of Rax doesn't mean anything, so I don't think Deucey even buys back if they threaten. No, one she doesn't lane. buy back. I'm gonna. Why Shaman still buying wars? Why? Why does he not have Axe yet? Yeah. Oh, oh, jump in, Doom, Chaos Knight. They're looking to just end this right here, right now. CK gonna get right clicked down. What can ET really do to save him? Try for some body blocks. Maybe go for the stylish deny. No, not gonna happen, and now he's the one in trouble. Gets his stomp immediately cancelled. Brewmaster. Oh, the one by one. Yeah, this is dangerous. So they will be able to bring down the Night Stalker, but if they commit the exorcism just for this. What does that really matter? Like, Doom's about to go run into the base. Just force the creep wave all the way in. They're chasing him. In your dream, trying to cut him off at the pass, but no detection. Meanwhile, Legion is inside of the base. There we go. Alright, she probably clicked on the inventory there. Not good. A little bit of feeding going on. 
But oh, no, Doom gets the tier 4, alright, it's all worth it in the end. 99 seconds dead, <laughs> but they've got their Legion, they've got their Medusa back up. Oh my god, this game. For the greater good. The Mega Creeps. Oh my god, they're so bad at dealing with Mega Creeps. Alright. Brute Master needs to buy Battle Fury. Yeah. Let's go, Brute. Dude, these creeps are not being killed at all. No, <laughs> they are not being killed nearly fast enough. Cue it up, Saint. Let's go. It's boundary time, or maybe I'll just buy like a Maelstrom. Ooh, Nullifier, or not Nullifier? Aeon. Aeon Disc. He's just trying to improve the item's win rate, dude. This is just sure. cheating. I like it. It's like the people who used to buy couriers and leave them in their inventory to increase the win rate of animal couriers. Only, only if you, you win. <laughs> are you one of those people that, uh, right when you win your pups, you buy a whole bunch of wards and place it? You're like, hey guys, look. Oh, uh, look at my stats. <laughs> no, I am so one of the people who won't buy back, though. Like, if the game is about to end and I have buyback. Is like, why would you, why would you ruin your net worth? Oh, I see. Gotta, gotta get that GPM. All right, I like the first step in your dream. Picks up a Maelstrom. This is good. <laughs> Maelstrom Death Prophet. All right, they're they're yeah. they're they're pushing it out. Before the creep wave was here. Now <laughs> they've managed to push it out to the actual entrances to their base. So. uh... In yeah. one lane only. Yeah. So two Battle Furies later, and we might get somewhere, right? Battle Fury CK, yeah. Battle Fury Brewmaster. Dyer's bottom shrine Let's go. That or the Deuce is about to roll up on their base in like 30 seconds. Maybe. Dyer's bottom shrine has fallen. Sell those phase boots, buy a moon shard, eat the moon shard. Realize that you do still have buyback. Roll on in. Here we go. The machine is here. The oh, cannon. Nothing that the ET can do. He just gets brought down. Oh. 328 dual damage. Oh. Nando getting chunked, but he's fast. He's really fast, but I think that bolt is going to finish him off. Meanwhile, inside of the base, the Dusa is just going ham. They've got the Doom. Up onto the Death Prophet. She's dead for 123. They're going to send the Dusa up into the air. CK waiting to say hello when she drops back down, but who's saying hi to who? They are stacking their stuns a little bit, but Carl's now back out. Look at the right clicks go. They're going to lose the Panda. They're going to lose the CK. They're going to lose everyone. They're going to lose their Ancient. They're going to lose the game. They're going to lose the series. But they're not out of the tournament just yet. Uh, Look at that game. Only... Huh? I wish for a close game, and that's what we got. You got it. It's now, uh, you got it. It's now almost 20 past 4 in the morning, but we, we did it. All right, it was, it was uh, pretty good. It was a pretty good game. Okay, so uh, we are done for now. Uh, let me preview the games that are happening tomorrow. Tomorrow we're casting Fnatic versus Execration. Nice. Should be an exciting match. Yeah, That's going to really happen cool. at the same time as the first time, uh, first match of today. Yeah, so 8 o'clock Singapore, uh, 10, a, uh, 10 p.m. Australia. Um, what are, I don't know any other time zones. <laughs> Great, great. That's that, it. That's that, all we need to do. That'll cover it. That, that's everybody that's watching right now, I'm sure. Yep. So, uh, cheers, guys, for tuning in for the uh, Bucharest Major uh, SEA qualifiers. Like Lumi said, we'll be back for more tomorrow. Um, a reminder on the format, it's two GSL groups. It looks like we've also just added... The, they're still figuring out the schedule as we go here. So the, the 15th is now also... Uh, I guess that, that's the finals, but anyway, you guys don't need to know about that just yet. Uh, we'll keep you posted as we continue moving through the days. Yeah, we, we don't think about the future, only one day at a time. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's, it's just, well, yeah. What, what time do we have to be here to cast tomorrow? All right, okay, good enough. So, thanks so much for tuning in, guys. I hope you enjoyed the coverage. Uh, I guess if you have any feedback for Lumi or I, feel free to send us a tweet, something like that. Our Twitter handles are just in the stream title. Other than that, enjoy all of the other qualifier action that's going on. There's a ridiculous amount, and we'll see you tomorrow.